Meet Sarah. Sarah is a new mom and loves sharing pictures of her baby girl. She's also an enthusiastic food blogger. You better believe her pumpkin spice muffins will beat anything out there. Sarah is a professional photographer. She regularly posts her most recent creations and loves sharing her experiences with young and upcoming photographers. Meet Matt. Matt is a college student and football enthusiast. He's always having flame wars with his friends about why his team is the best and theirs isn't. Matt is a member of a rock band with some of his friends when he's not too busy with schoolwork, and sometimes when he is too busy. But most of all, Matt's dream is to become a professional photographer. Matt looks forward to Sarah's weekend updates on her latest experimentation with her brand new digital SLR camera, but doesn't really look forward to when he's scrolling through his feed and sees her recipe posts or the million baby pictures. And Sarah is happy to provide feedback to Matt whenever he posts his latest photograph. But she's not quite as happy to have to scroll through those flame wars or rock band pictures that she's not too interested in. There are other people interested in Sarah's posts, but they don't follow her because she posts so many food and baby posts that they would rather miss out on her photos than see the things they find less interesting, so Sarah has fewer followers online. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that Matt and Sarah could enjoy each other's common interests without having to endure the differing interests? Well, now there is! It's called Bucket Streams. Bucket Streams is for content producers and consumers alike. It allows you to share what you want and see what you want. On Bucket Streams, you don't have one wall that you post everything to, but instead have several buckets to post everything to, and people can subscribe to what they want based on their interests. A bucket is like a piece of your life. When you post, you can put it in one, two, or all your buckets. It's your choice. You can even have private buckets, where you can make sure that only the people you want to see it can, and nobody else even knows it's there. When you subscribe to a bucket, you put it in a stream where you can put common buckets from all kinds of people together, and have one place for common content. You can either enjoy one stream at a time, or, when you are bored and just want to scroll forever, you can go to your main stream and see everything at once. But it will all be interesting to you in some way, because you subscribe to it. So back to Sarah and Matt. Sarah would post her photographs into her own bucket called My Photography. Matt would subscribe Sarah's My Photography bucket into his own stream called Photography by the Pros. He would only see the things Sarah posts to her My Photography bucket. And if Sarah wants, she can make her own Help a Newbie stream and subscribe Matt's My Photos bucket to it, where she could make her recommendations and provide feedback. On Bucket Streams, you can be yourself. You don't have to avoid scaring people off by posting things only a few people find interesting. And you don't have to go through your own social media feed before finding anything of interest to you. Bucket Streams, share what you want, see what you want. Check it out on bucketstreams.com.